Yesterday, we told you about a bus app that schools have been using across the state is having a number of glitches, a number of issues. Well, Berkeley County officials got in touch with us to tell us what they're doing to try to work around these problems. We have an app, Ride 360, that we were utilizing, um, but unfortunately it wasn't working for our parents. And of course we want to be consistent, so we had to push that to the side, and luckily our communications department had another option for us. The district already uses the Rooms app, and the district decided to just create specific rooms for each school bus. Today, about 14,000 parents were sent an invitation to join the rooms for their child's school bus. If there's a problem like a delay, the parents on that bus can be sent a message. Beginning Friday, they will start using rooms for this across the board. So communications is pushing it out to the parents. Um, they're receiving emails. I'm a parent myself, and I received emails, and I've added my two students, um, and I've already got an email, and we had a delayed bus this morning, and you know we're practicing with it to make sure that we're ready to go on full on the 15th. So we, I got a message this morning that said the bus was delayed by 10 minutes and that was great. So I was able to let my high school students know that their bus would be behind. But I think it's more important that parents have the correct information and they know that it's consistent and what they're getting from the district is gonna, it's important information and it's gonna be consistent from us. Berkeley County officials tell me they believe this rooms system they have come up with may work well enough that they don't have any plans to move to another system in the near future. In Monk's Corner, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.